Thursday, September 12th, 2024, uh, and The View opened with a supercut of all of the different poll numbers that uh, Trump was uh, was claiming uh, had said that he had won the um, the debate on uh, whatever night it was, Tuesday night. Um, and just like they, none of them, none of them even added up, you know, 93, two, 86, 11. Like he just, he, the whole thing was just a bunch of, he just kept throwing them out. The only poll I ever saw that said that viewers thought he won was a Newsmax poll. Um, and it was like 67% or something. It was a flash poll. Um, so we, and he never produced whatever those polls were. So we know he was lying. Like he's just making shit up. Like he always does. I just, it, it's, um, it, it's so disturbing that it's just uh, like commonplace and understood and somehow like acceptable that he just blatantly lies. He just makes shit up. And then, you know, he's running to be president of the United States. It's kind of serious, um, but he's such an unserious person. I just, uh, so uh, I don't know, but what a fucking joke. Um, and he is, you know, he has to be scared because the, uh, you know, even the Republican, um, you know, sort of right wing, uh, press was saying that he didn't win the debate. Um, so, cause he didn't, he got slaughtered. Uh, he took the bait from Kamala Harris every time she offered it. And no, he's not going to debate her again. Um, that's, it, it, it will make him look weak and scared but I think he is scared and he, he probably shouldn't debate her again. Um, it, it's fine. And, and I, I I think I'd prefer that they not. Um, uh, what I don't want to see, and, you know, somebody on The View said today, you know, I want to see her do one-on-ones. I want to see her do blah, blah, blah. And it's like, you know what? She's um, traveling the country. She's doing the things that she needs to do. There is no reason to go um, and do corporate media um interviews because they're all going to ask the same question we've covered fracking we're done like you don't have to keep bringing it up again he called you not black like we don't have to talk about that anymore it's over um they can't seem to ever actually get into um the deeper issues that we actually all care about um but they did put up a map today that i saw online um that said and i guess it was taken during the debate um, a poll, like, what do people in all the states care about? And the entire country was concerned about reproductive rights, except for Ohio is concerned with immigration. I've said this from the beginning, even before, you know, when Joe, when Papa Joe was still the um, uh, the nominee, if we run strictly on women's reproductive rights, we're going to win. Um, we have a, an opportunity to do more than that um, and and bring more people and, the, and their attention in. So um, I, I think her focus on that, I, and Chelsea Clinton um, certainly made this point today. By the way, how lovely to have her at the table. She's such a, she just seems delightful. Um, and I think she made Alyssa feel uncomfortable, which I enjoy. Um, but that, you know, focusing on uh, women's pre, pre, uh, reproductive health and making sure that that is, uh, there is a standard nationwide um, is, is paramount and so um you know that stuff makes me feel good you know the the fox news people kind of tripping over themselves and 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 trump you know calling in and like bloviating and and doing everything he can to be like i won i won i won <laughs> and somebody said i guess it was um amy lucifer farla griffin it was like the the his the maga crowd is just used to his um sort of uh, you know curated ver version of him um and to see him called out like that uh like very forcefully the way that that Kamala Harris did multiple times on multiple um uh fronts about being a felon about being um you know leaving a bad economy like that the, 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 being laughed at by uh, other world leaders. Like nobody says that shit to him and they don't ever get to hear it. So that was, um, I'm sure they think it's a lie, but it's it it, it, it was nice to see anyway. Um, the other thing about the, this Taylor Swift um, uh, endorsement, which I also think the timing of that was great um, at the debate. So the story isn't 
fully focused on Taylor. It's the debate and and Harris's performance, um, and the night before September 11th. So there's that. So she she doesn't stay in the news cycle about it quite as long or as prominently um, as she would have otherwise. But of course she's still there. And uh, and JD Vance going on Fox News and and saying, this is just brilliant. I don't think um, the American people think a billionaire um, media star or be entertainment star or entertainment celebrity um, really has the, you know, the pulse of the, of the American people under their thumb. It's like, who the fuck do you think you're running with JD? He, I mean, he's not a billionaire, but he touts to be a billionaire. Um, and, uh, you know, a reality star, star, uh, reality TV show, TV show host, who you know has never like he's had, he's never had to go to the grocery store. He doesn't buy groceries. Like ha, like, do you not know who you're running with? Um, like the weird, blatant hypocrisy of that statement is just so bizarre to me. And then he says it with a straight face, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Aren't I so smart? No, oh, no, you're not, JD. And I'm sorry, Whoopi. I think it's okay. Tell, you could tell him to shut up. <laughs> Because it's a dumb thing to say. Uh, and he says dumb things all the time. Um, but uh, I'm going to say one thing about uh, Harris that hasn't come up, which is surprising, given the fact that she's a woman and everyone loves to pick on a woman. What she has done very smartly, as long as she has been in like the national public eye, I don't know what happened when she was in California, but she has basically worn herself um, a uniform. It's a dark, single color pantsuit. That's it. Sometimes the under thing changes where it's a little bit of a tie or a, a, like, a, a, like a scoop neck with some pearls. It's very the same. It's just a uniform. So nobody can go picking on her outfits and saying, um, she looks good in this and bad in that. Blah, 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 blah. And it hasn't come up once. And I don't think that that is a sign of the American media growing up or maturing in any way. That's direct a direct result of her not giving them the opportunity by just giving herself a uniform. It's not the exact same thing every day, but it's real close. Um, and you know what? good for her because it's not part of the conversation um so you know it's things like that where it just feels like she knows where the traps are and she's going to try to keep herself free of them um and uh you know you got to respect that and that helps change the game for the next time um so i'm looking forward to the next eight weeks um, and when we can start voting, which is, I don't think until the end of October in New York, um, but you know, I'm gonna line up real quick. <laughs> I highly recommend early voting. The other thing, uh, Taylor Swift um, put a link to uh, vote.org on her um, endorsement of Harris. And as of 11 a.m. the next day, there were over 300,000 hits that were from her referral URL. I don't know if they all registered, um, but that's a big deal. And, uh, you know, the Republicans don't like us when we vote. And that should tell everybody more than anything that the, the, the party that wants to make it difficult for people to vote is probably the party you don't want in charge. <laughs>